Have you ever asked Google or Siri a health-related question? Do you ever wonder if the answers are correct? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm gonna dig into how accurate are Google and Siri when they're answering sexual-related health questions. In a 2017 survey out of the UK of over 3,000 adults, they found that 41% of people are going on the internet to search for health-related content, and about 20% of those people are doing it within the last week before the survey. So this is super common. In 2017, researchers out of the United Kingdom sought to answer the question, how accurate are Google and Siri in providing good resources when asking health-related questions about sexual health specifically compared to asking Google on a laptop-based search engine? In this study, published in the British Medical Journal, what they did was they took 50 questions based on topics from the National Health Service which for those of you who are not familiar is the UK based public health system. They took these 50 questions, they asked them on their cell phones to Siri or Google. They asked questions like, tell me about good sex, penis health, contraception. And then they took questions from the NHS website, like where can I get contraception? Can oral sex give you cancer? Is my vagina normal? Is it normal to have a curved penis? And they found that the laptop-based Google search outperformed the phone assistance. 72% of the responses on the Google search were accurate or offered the best resources to answer the question, followed by the Google Assistant, which was 50% correct, and then Siri, which was about 32% correct. When they looked at accuracy or the return of websites that were from good sources, like publicly funded organizations such as the CDC or the NHS, they found that 48% of search results were leading to those sorts of resources. 14% led to resources that had some content expertise like Wikipedia, and another 14% led to commercially biased websites, another 14% tended to result magazine articles, which were not necessarily expert related content. When looking at image results, Google and Google Assistant tended to have the best results. For example, when asking questions like how to have sex, there were pictures of how to put a condom on and videos showing how to do that with a wooden penis model. Siri was more often to say, I don't know the answer to that or not answer a question. It was also more likely to misinterpret terms like vasectomy was stuck to me or confusing sex with the number six. No matter what you use to get your answers about your sexual health, make sure that you're looking at the results you get and making sure you're getting high quality content. Is it from national or international organizations that are focused on providing evidence-based content on sexual health? Is it from magazine articles that are just trying to sell a hot headline? Or is it from a commercially biased website that's trying to get you to buy something? When you're reading content on the internet, make sure to look for sources. Where are they getting their information? from. Click on the links or look at the references at the bottom of the article to make sure they're coming from actually peer-reviewed articles or journals and not from someone's blog post about their opinion. I hope you guys all found that interesting. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. Mm -hmm.